we have a brand new Motorola Razr and a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip in our hands. And you can probably guess why we're out here today. We're gonna put these guys to the test. Now, these phones are an entirely new category. Foldables, we've never dropped them before, so we actually have no idea what is gonna happen. And why are we dropping them, you ask? Well, they're expensive. At around $1,500 each or in that region in the US, you know, do you need to spend that kind of cash? What happens if uh, they break as soon as you drop them? So before you spend the money, we have spent it for you to see how <laughs> durable they really are. Now, before we get started, let's run through some of the specs to see what we're working here with here, Lexi. Starting with the Motorola Razr, it has glass on the front, plastic on the back, and inside covering that screen is plastic. Now, the flip on the other hand has glass on either side and it has bendable glass on the screen. Now, Lexi, we never do these types of tests with a case on the phones. So this time it's no different, even though the Galaxy Z Flip does come with this little case in the box. I'm gonna put it away for now and we're gonna drop both these phones caseless. So I can tell you what I'm betting over here, Lexi, and I think this one's not gonna do so well. All right, well, we're just gonna see what happens. So we're gonna run through three drops the first one we're going to do is closed from approximately pocket heights with the intention that it's going to land on the screen of the razor and also the front screen of the z flip so without further ado let's just see what happens let's get into position we all ready and rolling slow-mo okay close up we're ready okay let's get right. it in position let's bring it forward so we're kind of around the same, same around pocket height. yeah all yeah. right all right ready we got no i'm not ready three two one drop okay okay this is painful three two one drop okay yeah Three, two, one, drop. We can see that already there is some severe damage <laughs> on the Z Flip. You want to pick it up? Oh, Just that's really sad. be careful. There's there's something. This is already so oh, sad. Okay. You go first. All right. So let's take a look at the Motorola Razr. You can see immediately, Jim, come in close and grab this here. There is a small hairline crack coming from the camera module all the way out to the side. Although it looks like it's only cosmetic. Let's see, let's open up the screen. There's a little bit of scuffing there on the side too, on that side. On the back looks fine. The hinge mechanism still opens. The inside screen is still okay from what I can tell. All functioning. The front screen is still working. Let's see, it looks like everything is fine. The, it's still responding to the, the touch presses like so still looks like it's okay so I think for this test it has survived even though there is um, some real cosmetic damage how's here. the camera lens the camera lens is got uh, it looks good there's a tiny little cosmetic buff here again I can just show you let's see what happens when I open up the lens I can't see anything significant there on the picture it looks it looks like it's still functioning there's no big scratch or anything over the, the image when I take that photo well, that looks okay still. All right, let's take a look at the Z Flip now because this one is very clearly... Sadly, this did not go so well. You can already see how badly it broke on the first drop. It's just got spider webs all across the edges over here on the bottom, on the side, on the other side. I mean, luckily the camera seems to be okay, but that's about it. I mean. The little screen here, the window, as you can see, still lights up and that still functions the way it's supposed to. But come on, this is really bad fractures where you could probably even get cut if, yeah. as I'm running my fingers through it, it's pretty sharp and there are little shards of glass um, coming off be of careful, it. Be careful, please be careful. And I mean, if you open it up, everything seems to be in working order on the inside. So, you know, at least it did its job to protect the inside of the phone. Uh, the buttons still work as intended, volume rocker as well. Um, now the back looks fine, but it did, as you saw, land on, on the front. So where it hit, hit or where it had the impact, it definitely broke on the first drop. And, you know, a couple little scuffs on the side. This would be enough already to make me cry though if I just bought this phone. That in mind, the first drop has pretty much smashed <laughs> the outside of the Z Flip. Now, do we want to go to the next drop? Well, of course, you, we got to test out the screen. We're going to try to have it land screen side down, but yes. the Motorola Razr is weighted really 
weirdly um, it's got that chin so yeah. if it does a couple of flips it's not because we're bad at throwing phones it's just because it's just got weird waiting issues yeah well we'll see what happens again as we said we've never done this before we've never dropped phones and of course bear in mind this is not a scientific experiment we exactly. are just doing this to see what happens let's get ready we all running on our slow-mo okay all good all right ready three two, two one, one drop Oh, okay. So that was a very flat drop on both of it them, was surprisingly. Very flat drop. Let's come down. I can already see, oh, the poor razor on the front has continued to crack. Let's take a look at that screen. It has continued to crack and, and generate even more cracks there, like so. I uh, don't know if it's still functioning on the front, but surprise, surprise, the screen itself is fine on the razor. However, look at the significant damage that has happened across the top here. That's obviously some real cracking there. And uh, it is a little loose, it is splintering there. So obviously if I'm running my finger across it, it's gonna start to come off like so. Come in close and take a look at that. That's so sad to see. It's just a real sort of spiderweb effect. However, let's give some props to the screen itself because this is still functioning as intended. It does just look like cosmetic damage and perhaps a little bit of an issue to the earpiece. Again, we will only know by making a call and testing that out a little bit later. But for now, the screen looks like it is working as expected. Unfortunately, it's just not a pretty sight though. Let's take a look at that. I think also, yes. So the screen on the front is still working. However, I feel like if we were gonna use it, actually, guess what? It doesn't work? No, it does work. However, feel across the front there. Take a feel of that. It's smooth. It's the totally crack is smooth. purely underneath the surface there of that glass. Not there, okay. There's a yeah. little fragmentation there. But here, it actually looks uh, like it's pretty smooth. Unfortunately, it's actually, I was gonna say it doesn't work with the long press touch, but it does. So it's still functioning. It just doesn't look very pretty. Let's well, check out the Z Flip now. I mean, the Z Flip surprised me on this time because it didn't continue to break. It actually held up pretty well and the inside is all right. The screen itself um, doesn't look to be damaged at all. And I think I know why, Lexi. If you can see over here, there's the edges are raised. Um, the, the outline of the phone is raised. So it's kind of the, the glass inside is, sinks in. And I think that's what's protecting the glass because there is no damage right. except for just a few on the frame over here, a few scuffs on the frame up here, probably where it hit directly. Uh, but other than that, it doesn't look like it's taken a fall. Look at that over here on the bottom, actually, I lied. I had not seen this corner. It's raised already. Um, is that just the screen coming up or is that no, no, simply no, that's, the, the actually, bezel that's a, there? Actually, that's a little bumper uh, okay. for when you close the when you close the screen, but again, okay. the screen is totally fine and it still opens and closes correctly. So, okay. you know, the, the outside is bad, but at least the inside of both these phones is still good. Exactly. Well, I guess we're gonna go one step further and do our third drop. So this one is gonna be simulating flicking the phone open and just dropping it in the orientation that it drops. Now, so this is kind of the free for all right. of, of drops. Now, this here. might have a little bit of force behind it just because when you do flick open your phone and you're, you're naturally giving a little bit of motion there to open it. So, I'm gonna try, try not to splinter uh, your finger or get some splinters yeah. in there, be careful. So, we're gonna start with the screen, I guess, a little ajar and then flick open and then just drop. So it, it might land on the top, it might land on the side, we don't know. Also, we flick differently, so of it course. is a free-for-all Of here. course, all right, so I'm gonna try and aim it in this kind of area. Right. Let's Same. see, we rolling on everything, slow motion? Okay, all right, let's go. All right, three, two, one, drop. All right, look, they're landed right next to each other. Let's grab them and see what the damage is on the front because we can already see the back, kind of. Okay. Hmm. Okay, wow, it looks like... Pleasant surprise here. Let's look at the razor. It looks like we have a little bit of lifting there. That's the cosmetic edging around the base that is started to lift up a little bit. Like So I'm not sure if you can see it. Yes, there you go. And pull it out. I mean, it would still go back in with a little bit of glue, I'm sure. The buttons on the inside of the razor, we're all still working there on the volume rocker. That looks fine. The screen itself is uh, still accepting my touches and, and presses, like so. 
Now let's take a look obviously at the front here. That is still an issue. Oh, it's still closing though. It is still closing. There's a, I think a little additional cracking on the front there. The camera though, I'm very surprised that the camera module though is still looking okay. There is not actually that much damage, even though it is slightly raised. So there you go. And if I go in and take a photo quickly, like so, and review it, I can't see any issue of cracking or anything like that on the screen. So not bad. let's take a look at the Z-Blip. I mean, they didn't even survive the first drop, but they <laughs> kind of survived the flick test. At least the screens did. So I'm really surprised by how well the flip has done uh, inside. As you can see, it, it barely has any damage except to the frame of the phone, but the screen itself is totally fine. Again, I think it's because it's got this little little raised bumper on it that's protecting it. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of running through the screen and it's totally fine. The buttons still work on this phone, volume rocker, and mind you, I flicked this phone <laughs> with a lot of force. The back though did continue to break, so we know that the uh, glass on the front and on the back of the flip is somewhat subject to breakage, but... Somewhat. somewhat <laughs> exactly, that's an <laughs> understatement right there. But the screen itself is fine. Now let's test the camera because uh, there is a lot of damage to the front of the phone, but the um, camera itself is totally fine. As you can see, I'm taking a picture of Lexi over here and it still works, it still works fine. Uh, despite the fact that this side of the phone had the most amount of damage. I'm pleasantly surprised by the inside of the flip. Yeah, I'm surprised by the inside of both of them, to be honest, and I was not expecting the screens to be as durable as they have been in these three tests. Now, obviously, we could continue dropping these phones. There are a ton of other scenarios that could happen to you, but I think I have enough information to make a judgment call over here, and it is a versus after all. So if I had to choose, I would probably go with the flip. And to be honest, they both fared better than I was expecting yeah. um, in terms of the foldable phones. So I would go the f with the flip just because the screen is completely intact, which is really all I care about. And I can put a case on the outside because it does come with a case. How about you, Lexi? Okay, so uh, I do agree with you in terms of the overall usability and pristine nature of the screen on the Z Flip. However, I think the Razer did a really good job. Now, if I was happy to use a Bluetooth headset to take calls, I definitely could still use this. And to be honest, the external appearance is nowhere near as bad as what it looks like on the Z Flip. And the splintering would really worry me that maybe I would get something in my fingers if I wasn't using a case. It is less significant on the Razer. Still not pretty. Still, please put a case on it because that will really help going forward. Now, foldables are a totally new category. So let us know how else you would like us to to test them, leave us a comment down below. Sorry for breaking $3,000 worth of phones.